There's something rare, something elusive, something that only 1% of people on this planet will experience. And I'm not talking about fame, wealth or power. No, I'm talking about something far deeper, far more profound a sign, a spiritual mark that reveals itself to only the most awakened among us. It's not something you can see with your eyes, but something you can feel in your very soul. And I want to ask you, do you think you could recognize it if it happened to you? Would you be able to sense it, to see through the veil, to understand that this sign, this rare gift, has chosen you? We we'll all search for meaning in our lives, don't we? Whether it's through our relationships, our careers, or even our spiritual practices, we're constantly looking for that deeper sense of purpose. But what if I told you that this rare sign, this extraordinary mark of the chosen ones goes beyond any superficial search? And it's something that isn't given to you because you asked for it. It's not something you can earn through hard work or dedication, something that chooses you. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lesson. And it's subtle, oh so subtle. It's something that can easily be missed if you're not paying attention. But it's like a whisper in the wind, a flicker of light in the corner of your eye. But if you're ready, truly ready, it will reveal itself to you in the most profound way possible. But here's the thing, most people, the vast majority will never even know it exists. They'll go through their lives focused on the material, caught up in the noise of the world, never realizing that something far greater is waiting for them just beneath the surface of their everyday reality. They won't see the sign because they haven't trained themselves to look for it. They haven't quieted their minds enough to hear it. You see, this rare sign is not for everyone. It's for the 1%, the chosen ones, those who have tapped into a deeper level of awareness. And I'm not talking about being better than anyone else, no, this isn't about hierarchy. It's about alignment. It's about being in tune with something greater than yourself. It's about being a vessel for something more profound, more cosmic, more eternal. Now I know what you're thinking. How do I know if I'm one of the chosen ones? And that's where we get to the heart of the matter. You don't know, at least not in the way you think you do. There's no checklist, no set of criteria that you can tick off to determine if this sign has chosen you. It's not about achieving anything in the world of form. It's about surrendering. It's about letting go of the ego, the identity, the small self that tries to control everything. It's about opening yourself up to something greater, something beyond your understanding. A think about it. Have you ever had a moment in your life where time seemed to stop, where everything around you faded away, and you felt an overwhelming sense of peace, of connection, of knowing? It was like, for just a brief moment, you were tapped into something beyond yourself, something infinite. Maybe you didn't even know what it was at the time, but it left an imprint on your soul. That, my friend, could be the beginning of the sign revealing itself to you. But here's the paradox, the more you search for it, the more elusive it becomes. This isn't something you can hunt down. It's not something you can force. The more you try to grasp it, the more it slips away. It's when you let go of the need to find it, when you stop trying to control the experience, that it will come to you. It's in the stillness, in the silence, that the sign reveals itself. So I ask you, are you ready to let go? Are you ready to stop searching and simply be? Are you ready to open yourself up to the possibility that you might be one of the chosen ones even if you don't fully understand what that means yet. There's a call, a deep inner call that resonates from the depths of your soul. It's not something you hear with your ears, but something you feel in your heart. It's a pull, a tug that guides you towards something greater than yourself. 
And if you're still enough, if you're quiet enough, you can begin to feel it, to sense it. But here's the thing, most people will ignore it. They'll brush it off as just another fleeting emotion, another random thought. They'll dismiss it because it doesn't fit into their logical, rational understanding of the world. But you, you're different. You wouldn't be here listening to this if you weren't. There's something inside you that knows there's more to life than what meets the eye. There's something within you that is calling you to awaken, to recognize the sign when it comes. But here's the tricky part. The call doesn't always come in the way you expect. It doesn't always show up as a clear, unmistakable message. It can be subtle. It can be confusing. It can even be painful. Sometimes the call comes through hardship, through challenges, through moments of deep suffering. But that's where the growth happens. That's where the transformation takes place. I think about it. Have you ever gone through a difficult time in your life, only to look back on it later and realize that it was one of the most important experiences you've ever had? That, in some strange way, it was exactly what you needed to wake up, to grow, to evolve. That's the call. That's the sign, beginning to make itself known. But here's the thing, you have to be willing to listen. You have to be willing to go through the darkness, to face your shadow, to confront the parts of yourself that you've been avoiding. Because the sign doesn't come to those who are comfortable. It doesn't come to those who are asleep. It comes to those who are willing to walk the path of the unknown, to step into the mystery. So how do you awaken to the sign? How do you prepare yourself to recognize it when it comes? It starts with awareness. It starts with mindfulness. It starts with being present in the moment, with paying attention to the subtle whispers of your soul. It starts with listening, really listening to what your heart is telling you. But here's where most people get stuck. But that's not how it works. It's something you open yourself up to. It's something you allow to flow through you, to guide you. And that's where surrender comes in. You have to be willing to let go of control, to let go of your need to understand everything, to let go of your attachment to the outcome. You'll have to trust that the sign will come when the time is right, that it will reveal itself to you in the perfect way, even if it doesn't make sense to your logical mind. So I ask you, are you willing to surrender? Are you willing to trust the process, even if you don't know where it's leading you? Are you willing to let go of your need to have all the answers and instead open yourself up to the mystery of life? The path of the chosen ones is not an easy one. It's not a path of comfort or certainty. It's a path of mystery, of unknowns, of stepping into the void without knowing what lies ahead. And that's why so few people walk it. Most people want safety. They want security. They want to know exactly what's going to happen next. But the chosen ones, the 1%, they're different. They're willing to take the risk. They're willing to step into the unknown, to trust the process even when it doesn't make sense. And that's where the sign comes in. It doesn't show up in the moments of certainty. It doesn't reveal itself when everything is going according to plan. It comes in the moments of doubt, in the moments of fear, in the moments when you're questioning everything. It comes when you're standing at the edge of the cliff, unsure whether you should jump or turn back. But here's the thing. The sign isn't there to give you all the answers. It's not there to make everything easy. It's there to guide you, to nudge you in the right direction, to remind you that you're not alone, that there's something greater at play. But you have to be willing to trust it. You have to be willing to take the leap, even if you don't know where you're going to land. And that's scary, isn't it? It's terrifying. Actually, to let go of control, to surrender to the unknown, 
to trust that everything is unfolding exactly as it's meant to, even when it feels like everything is falling apart. But that's the path of the chosen ones. That's the path of those who carry the rare sign. And here's the thing, you don't have to do it alone. The sign is there to remind you that you're never alone, that you're always being guided, even when you can't see it. But you have to be willing to listen. You have to be willing to trust. You have to be willing to take the leap, even when everything inside you is screaming to turn back. Is the truth, the deepest truth, the sign isn't something outside of you. It's not something that comes to you from the outside world. The sign is you. You are the sign. You are the chosen one. But you've forgotten. You've been so caught up in the noise of the world, in the distractions, in the illusions, that you've forgotten who you truly are. But now you're starting to remember. You're starting to wake up to the truth of who you are. You're starting to realize that the sign has been with you all along, that it's been guiding you, that it's been whispering to you, even when you weren't aware of it. And now, it's time to embody it. It's time to become the sign. It's time to step into your true power, to claim your birthright as one of the chosen one. But this isn't about ego. It's not about thinking you're better than anyone else. It's about recognizing that you are a vessel for something greater, that you are here to serve a higher purpose. But here's the thing, you can't do it from a place of fear. You can't do it from a place of control. You have to do it from a place of trust, from a place of surrender, from a place of knowing that you are exactly where you're meant to be that everything is unfolding exactly as it's meant to. The rare sign isn't something you find. It's something you become. It's something you embody. It's something you live. And when you do, everything changes. Life takes on a new dimension. You begin to see the world through new eyes. You begin to experience life in a deeper, more profound way. So, I ask you, one final time, are you ready to become the sign? Are you ready to step into your true power, to embrace your role as one of the chosen ones, to live your life in alignment with your highest purpose? Because the sign is here, it's always been here, and it's waiting for you to recognize it in yourself.